Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> oh, man. I've been so jealous of you guys. I've, I've been milking this one beer, and I don't even have a coffee mug. So I'm going to go get a coffee mug <laughs> and a beer. And actually, I'm going to get some Actually, I'll get some wine. I'm going to get a coffee mug and some wine. To, I'll be right back. To, to answer a question in the comments, yes, it is a Doctor Who mug I am drinking my wine out of. Wait, wait a minute. Show, hold on. Fuckos. Mike. Mikey, 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 you're doing mm -hmm. movies with Mikey live at Pack South. I am doing movies with Mikey live at Pack South. When? When? What day? Sunday, I want to say, but I'm not sure. I just, I just talked to Ryan about it. Uh, can I hit you up offline with the actual day? Because I, well, I think it's Sunday, but I'm not sure. But I can hit you up with the actual day. I will be after this in San Antonio. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I was South. not, I'm planning. on like nine panels. This is the weirdest packs I've ever had. It's going to be crazy. Uh, so as it turns out, the Royal rumble is in San Antonio the same weekend. And oh, so the I'm actual, coming... not the Southern slam or in 64 brethren Royal rumble. No, the actual, the real humdinger the real, uh, right. That's awesome. Actually at the Alamo dome on Sunday night. Uh, oh, shit. But, That's uh, I'm going to be there. And so I figure, I mean, if I don't know if day passes are available or you can just open a back door or something for me, but I would love God. to see. For, first of all, there's no back doors. Second of all, dude, I got you. Come on. I know. You I know. like hit me like I, I yes, you will have a pass. If you are there, I will get you in. No problem. Uh, I mean, I have no problem paying for one if it's a thing. But anyway, there, yeah, it's oh, not, we got it. We gotta, it I, I want to see it. If, if, if you're going to do it, I forgot that you were that you were like figuring out how to do it. But now that just makes this trip all the better. Now I'm, I'm even more excited. Yeah, I uh, uh, I it's it's weird because like for so long, I thought no one's going to no one wants to watch this. No one's going to come to this. And uh, I realized moving into to pack south that. Yeah, actually, people do, and I had a lot to say because it, it's it's both a deconstruction of my show. So I movies of Mikey live, yeah. movies of Mikey, which I think is really interesting. And then I'm doing a a smattering of film facts you are probably not aware of because these these aren't like top ten BuzzFeed kind of things. These are like things yeah. you did not know. Um, and that's that's the rest of it. So I, I think it's gonna be a a pretty jam packed. Oh my little, God! Little no, film. I'm pumped. So. I'm just gonna let everybody know. No one's gonna cry better than me because if it's I, a, a so, regular so, movies of Mikey episode, then I'm gonna cry, and no one else is gonna on, cry better. On, on that note, on that note, because I think this is this is actually important because I, I, I don't get to talk about this that often. Yeah. Um, I am putting together music to do that sort of black and white. Like I'm trying to figure out how to like translate that to. Real time, yeah. which is interesting, but I think the like a problem I do not have is is showcasing my own internal emotions to an audience. I think, yeah. Um. So I so that's the thing I can't do live. So uh, I am I am sort of deconstructing myself in a an emotional way. I think at the end, which will be interesting. Uh, dude, that uh, how much of of that like is, is this like. A, a, a panel that has a presentational element or is this like a yeah. show? Like, how are you, how well, are you? It, I, it's, it's both. I, I, so we, your question is sort of odd in that every time I do a panel and I learned this by the way, from Randy Pitchford and the gearbox panels, which are full every time and they're crazy and they're super fun. If you're doing a panel, put on a show. Yeah. And that's where I'm coming from. So, yeah, yes to both. Like, it is God. a panel, but it is a show. Uh, hey, real quick, Bryce. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got no art, if you're all artifice, just call it Juicy Juice for all I care. Jesus Christ, I'm out of this business. Ooh. That, hey, that's a good, I, that's a good idea. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> it all came around. Perfect, perfect. Uh, hey, good show. What should we call it? Um, we got Pool Boy Will, Your Move Internet. We had lots of sex, said the beard. <laughs> Big fat baby <laughs> bitch. Uh, Big H fat baby bitch is obvious, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna click <laughs> it and give it a vote. We have HTML, which is a pre pre show uh, reference. Our chat bot, DC TV bot, is not working, and so it's only saying HTML today. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I can I throw my vote in for Pool Boy Wilt? 
I, <laughs> poor boy, boy Wilt. <laughs> poor boy was yeah. It's perfect. It's all right. Weird. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll give the it's pool emo- boy. Wilt. It, it gives you an emotion For, foreshadowing. Like, you think it's a dance? Like, oh, what's the pool boy Wilt? It's a shout out to my boy Pool Boy. <laughs> that is yeah. Go way back. Hey, we, uh, you you brought play. us a game. Uh, do you do you want? Can we bring you a game, Mikey? Will you join us for a round of uh of call the flaming shot <laughs> called shots? <Yes. laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. All right, All give, right. give me one minute to, to finish that. Okay. Stop. All right. Uh, but I'm just gonna. Casual. How would you How would you describe our game to to Mikey, uh, a man of, of of culture and taste? Um, like two assholes cackling at an old lady falling down the stairs. <laughs> that's that's not my jam. We we try to call the shot, and by the shot, I mean. The flaming shot. The flaming shot in a flaming shot fail video based oh, on completely the best game judging. of all time. Okay, all right. We'll walk you through it. Genius. No, <laughs> you don't have to. I'm already like okay. totally understood. Well, no, no. There, there's uh, – Mikey, you got to learn the nomenclature. That's right. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there's that sound. You always know that the, the shot uh, – the flaming shot fail uh, uh, game is coming around. So, Mikey – uh, you're just gonna see the setting. We yeah. might play a, 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 a few seconds so you can kind of get a sense of maybe where it is. At which okay. point you have to settle on one of the following choices. Wait, and, and you're not limited to these choices, but uh, you you gotta have something specific that you're calling. It, I like, thought I was calling the liquor in the glass. Oh no 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 no! no, no, no. I, I was like. 151. Although, no, you're although, calling the outcome. Yes. You're calling the outcome of yes. that. Oh, is it is it a fire. blue beard where they just suddenly are, have a blue beard of fire? Uh, do they spit it out and do the dalsam yoga flame? Right. Do they go full ghost rider on their head? Does it land on their top, body? Top of the head, ghost rider, uh, blue beard, bottom of the face. Uh, 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 ghost rider, top. Body catches right. fire is a Johnny Storm. Uh, and we had the most amazing called shot. We had the Galaxy Note 7, which was Bonnie saw a cell okay. phone, and she's like, I bet that cell phone catches fire. And oh, sure right. enough, it did. It was amazing. Uh, you also have success. That's a, That was that was a yeah. zinger. Uh, and also the, the know, elusive. The, we haven't the, seen one yet. The white whale is the Knight yeah. Rider, in which somebody catches Ice? fire. And runs off and gets into a car and drives, drives away. away. <laughs> drives away. <laughs> we just we're looking for what? it. It'll happen. It hasn't happened yet. Has not, not, happened yet. Yet. not yet for not some yet. reason. No right. one's night rider. So we're continuing yet. the compilation video we did in the pre show. Right. Top five flaming shot idiot uh, apostrophes pack. Pack right. or uh, uh, give, asterisk. Oh that's the yeah, that's give the channel. Name. Three seconds or whatever. All right. uh, oh, also fire crotch. Fire crotch is also if they dump it on their crotch. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then what's uh, what's uh, with the with the hands? Um... Uh, Hadouken. Oh yeah, the Hadouken. And yeah. there's a dull scene. Yes. If you yeah. shoot yeah, a fireball. Yeah. All right. So we oh, got a gun. And, and either the carry or the prodigy. We'll, we'll <laughs> there's a lot of rules either. to this game. <laughs> What's the, the prodigy is, the, is where the it just burns everything The prodigy or the carry yeah. is if they light another full object on fire. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. So, all right, so th- yeah, this is what I got. This is what so, I got for you. All right. We got this... a man at a low, like, coffee table. He's uh, sure. got a, He's setting up a shot glass in a Montreal foot, maybe football or some sort of hockey. Um, uh, here's the significant it, 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 bits it, it, about whatever. this. Whatever. It, it's, it's a Florida de lis here's, de- here's the important part is that it's from a low angle and it looks like a crappy webcam. This is somebody recording himself. So sure. he's likely alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let Let's that shape your uh, info. So uh, I will say, sitting, okay. we are in prime fire crotch opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's 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 tone it back, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm I am gonna say this has lighting the table on fire all over it. So a carry. I, a I'm, I'm a I'm carry. Purely sternum. It's oh, so you're going Chester. Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. I'm going, okay. I'm going Johnny Storm right. on this guy. So I, I'm, I'm going with the look at that shirt. That needs to be destroyed. <laughs> it's like an Evanescence jersey. <laughs> oh, pause, 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 pause. This looks like he's got another glass behind him. So I think he's trying to do like a flaming Dr Pepper. Oh. He's showing it. He's gonna drop it in. Right. And that I, lens screens the hands and arms. And then oh geez, it could be full Johnny Storm or it could be uh, fire crotch. Fire storm. But we're all locked in. Right? Yeah, yeah, you guys are locked yeah. In. We're all okay. All right, let's let's see what horrible thing happens to this gentleman. Oops. Oh, oh no! Oh, it was a Hadouk! 
Hadouken! Oh, it was Hadouken! Uh, Hadouken, Hadouken. He, oh, yeah, he God. lit his hand oh. on fire. He missed when he dropped it. He oh, just oh, poured no. it all over his head! Well, Replay it, play it again! We, oh, we gotta God. see the whole thing. We gotta see the whole thing. He, he shows it the camera, brings it back, and... Oh, whoops! Brick... That, oh, and a fire starter! And a fire starter! Fire and a, a fire starter! And a fire crotch, I think. But I think those are second wa secondary wins. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he was using... Uh, I, I'm going to call victory on that one. That was a clear... That you was, you, got, a, you got a prodigy. You yeah. got a prodigy slash carry. Yeah, you you get the point. Do, do we count if somebody tries to put out a Hadouken in their crotch as a fire crotch? Do we call that? No. Okay. All right. I, I, I still feel like that there has to be emphasis for the first one that happens when there are multiple. Oh, no, that, that changes everything because then you would never. Uh, uh, then it's always Bluebeard. Yeah, it's, always, it's always a Bluebeard blue before beard. it's a Dalsim. And then, mm, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Do we want to do one more? We got we got three more yeah, in this let's Keep it going. I, keep it going. I definitely want to do more. All right, here's a, number two. I'm going to show you the first few frames here. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Oh, this one's a classic. We have seen this one, but also we don't remember how any of these go. Yeah, that's a good point. So it's a... I'll, I will go last because I'm pretty sure I do remember because I've seen this so a this lot. is classic frat uh, house shenanigans. Uh, you got beer. College for sure. Solo cups. There's going to be a lot of bros. A Jack Daniels. Is, there, is there like a domino fire thing happening? Or... It's that, a, those like are a... rope lights underneath the bar. Yeah, rope lights <laughs> on a table. In a the rope table. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mikey. Let, how about we start with you? What do you think is going to happen to this gentleman? Um, I I don't know what cup he's drinking out of, and that is complicated. Is there a shot glass sort of? It's under probably the, a shot. Okay. It is oh, a yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, it is a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, it is a shot glass. Um, I'm gonna go chest again. I'm gonna go Johnny Storm. Okay. Uh, this one I think is 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 Bluebeard. The only thing that that makes me hesitate is that it is number two in a top five flaming shot compilation, which leads me to a possible Dalsim, but I think Bluebeard's gonna be the way to go. All right, Brian, in, order, in order to justify my W on this, I wanna see how close I can nail it. Can I jump in for one second? Sure. I, I apologize yeah. uh, for this. Pool Boy just hit me up on Twitter. He only has 12 followers, and that's oh. not okay. Pool oh, Boy yeah. is great. No, here, I'll I follow love Pool Boy. Pool Boy. I'm so normally... you guys could go to at SB Pool Boy, and follow him, that would make me happy. Yeah, I'm usually really picky about who I follow, but I'll, I'll follow Pool Boy. <laughs> Give Pool Boy a follow. SB Pool Boy? S S B. As Sigma Bravo. Sebastian? Uh, S B, yeah. Pool boy. All right, Bry. Okay, if I remember correctly, call the shot. Takes a sip. You have a slight blue beard. And I believe you could maybe count it as a, a Hadouken when he starts slapping his face. But this was the first time I ever saw a full-on Dalsum. And it's a great Dalsum, as I believe he runs out of frame on the left. Do you oh. think he's running to a well, car? Well, that, that's so <laughs> I would like to imagine he's running to get in the car and drive away. <laughs> Hypothetical Knight Rider. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a blue beard. Oh, yeah! Oh, he got the donkey. <laughs> He's getting it. Oh, wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he get in the car? We don't know. Did he get in the car? It, it looked like the kitchen, unfortunately. I don't know. Kitchens have back doors. <laughs> How do you get in Adam's kitchen? That could have been a Knight Rider, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. We don't know. Uh, hold on. I got to follow Pool Boy here. All right. Yeah, everybody go follow Mr. Pool Boy. Let me set up. Follow. Bloop. Number one. Maybe. Oh, we've definitely Zem, seen this one before. Zem the mattress. They cut him off. He was running to the I'm, car. I'm getting hosed. You guys have all seen these. I yeah, I don't let's... watch. People Wait, here we'll do we'll do one that none of us have seen. Generally, very often. That's that's the problem with the compilations. Is like there's a few yeah, really yeah, greatest yeah. hits, but luckily there's now an entire <laughs> Reddit thread that permanently is. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Okay, I think this is new. I think this one is new. Oh God. Uh, it's a dark, it's a dark sort of a uh, frat party. Oh, dude, party. Shirtless I bro. love, I shirtless love bro. his whole aesthetic. It is so perfect. <laughs> it it, it looks bro. like He's there's wood, wood paneling on the walls, uh, a million drinks out, every, like three shirts are off. Oh, I mean, so God. here's the reason, Brian, when you described it to Mikey as watching an old woman fall down the stairs, uh, you needed to then correct it with, 
there's no guilt when you are only laughing at the flaming excess of white privilege, it, right? I, well, yeah, all of these happen right. in basements where hurt, they're shirtless yeah. trust fund kids. They're, well, I don't want to let people get burned, but at the same time, it's burning the alcohol, not their skin for the yeah. most part. They're probably okay, just terrified, and I'm fine with really dumb is, white dudes they're, getting terrified for. Ever. At some point, you start to see a theme, though. Like, it really yeah. is just yeah. poor hand-eye coordination. I mean, the, the, white the, males. This dude is a dude that, like, walks into, like, a Chipotle and goes, Tar Heels! <laughs> yeah. Tar Heels! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's, he's like, 23! Tar Heels! That's, that's that guy. He's, he's like, like very that, specific meat! and personal. Double meat! <laughs> By the way, if he shouts Tar Heels in this video... <laughs> I'm gone. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm a dead man. Mikey's gonna it's pull done. a night rider. <laughs> I, I will light my shit on fire right now if this guy shouts Tar Heels. That would be very bad. All right, what All are right, we calling? Brian, you uh, you won that last one by, so, by yeah. calling it totally right. I'll no. go. I'll, what do you think? Yeah, I'll go first. Um. <clears throat> so so around, okay, tables. I'm I am. Going to use a couple of context clues. Uh, this is an assembly of mouth fails, <laughs> flaming mouth fails. This is five foolish flaming mouth fails, twenty fifteen. It's a it's a it's a decent channel, seventy two uh, thousand subscribers. But this video only has six hundred and fifty views, and half of them are it's one thumbs up, one thumbs down. Oh wait and a minute, boy, oh, funny guys. Boy, funny guys, right? <laughs> Is does Boy Funny Guys have though? more subscribers than the Modern Rose? It does. it does. Well, hold on. Maybe maybe not now. Please. Please let us be above Boy Funny Guys. <laughs> Can we just get, just get they a did, real they, quick? They none of this content. Just very so briefly. Uh, 71,694. God damn it! God damn it! Oh! Hey, how does Boy Funny Guys ass taste, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, call it. Call it shot. Um, it's just a dumb blue beard. It's just a blue uh, beard. Firestarter. Twisted Firestarter. Ooh. Uh, what was by the way, my website is still up. Um <laughs> what, what is Fire what was Firecrotch? Or is it just called Firecrotch? Firecrotch is if, Firecrotch, if they yeah. spill it in I mean, their lap. this guy has no shirt. He's got he's got the Tar Heels colors on. <laughs> Tar Heels! I told you, Christian Leitner. No, that he was on. He was actually at Duke, not the Tar Heels. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I think Firecrotch. I Fire think Firecrotch. Fire All right. I'm trying to figure out the physics of how that's going to work. All right. Yeah, it would be I, a delicate it's, drizzle it's to light that, that crotch of flame. It's wish. It's very wish. As I consume these flames. All right, pause, pause, pause. All right, oh, come God. on. <laughs> With the crack lighter, the crack lighter too. He's a uh, torch. Call it a call it what it is. Uh, and uh, okay, so he's uh, uh, he's holding a goblet uh, that he's lighting, which all of a sudden the odds of a ghost rider went way up. But I I went with yeah, shitty yeah, bluebeard. Oh, Bluebeard. There's Bluebeard. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's turning into a, a, a ghost rider. Bro's got him. That was a shitty Bluebeard. He didn't even dulcum. He didn't even doll. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. I, by the way, by the way, I I I want to I want to put in a new uh uh choice. Yeah. And that is power pad. Uh, and that's when someone stamps their feet really fast. <laughs> oh yeah, like from the Nintendo. Guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Happened. Yeah, he had a yeah. blue beard, but he power padded. But he did. He did. He power padded it. That's in, in a major right. way. He See, was that... playing the run game. Yeah. I, Look, I you're want... right. You right. You're right. <laughs> Look at the tableau of this next video. You have a shirtless guy on one side of a table, God. and then a man in a polo shirt on the other side. <laughs> uh, and okay. also, this was ripped from the Daily Mirror. And right. also, I believe this is the number one of the five foolish flaming mouth fails, of and all of which tells me, like, 
I, and again, it's only because I won the, the this this last one as well. Uh, Mikey, what you want to look for? You got for, a big head now. I, oh, dude, I, I, all I do is win. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Uh, the uh, uh, okay. Look at how he's got. It. First of all, he's got that big old gut, and then uh, and his and his got Dude, his, crotch. his nipples look so sad. <laughs> like, oh my god, uh, they do. <laughs> hey guys, on the chest. <laughs> uh, dude, this guy wants his to. His nipples fuck. look like I got my eyes on both y'all. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you are tiny children pointed at the ground. We call that a Rango. <laughs> so, a <laughs> Rango. <laughs> bring it Please back. Please bring up Rango. Bring up Rango. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is win, win, oh. win, no matter what. So, the, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's close. It's so, uh, it's yeah, Dude's nipples look like Rango. <laughs> I'm going to say hashtag his nipples look like Rango. I'm going to make I'm going to call this shot. Uh, it's it starts as a fire crotch. It becomes a Johnny Storm. Ooh, I mean, ooh. I feel like fire crotch is the prohibitive favorite here. So I, I'm going to pile on. I'm going to dog pile on fire crotch. All right. God, these are sexy guesses. Um. <laughs> I'm going to go Hadouken because I just got to go different. And I, I think this – if this win Hadouken, this is the greatest video of all You time. could always go Knight Rider. You could always go <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going I'm going Hadouken. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, pause, pause. Foreign. Multiplier. They're in Russian. You hearing oh, that? Oh, God. Uh, does oh, anyone – wait, wait real quick, real quick. Does, real quick, does anyone want to change option? knowing that this is in Russian? It could be a dash cam. <laughs> this could be a night ride. This could be a car. They get killed by a car. The All of a sudden, like the, the car fire. pulls back. It was like the car was the fourth person at this table. And he was like, I'm getting out of here. With hashtag surprise car. Hashtag right now. Hashtag surprise car. This is, a, this is the last to chance to put in for Dude, you got on fire. This is the last chance for anyone to put in for a surprise Putin. Nobody? Oh. That's where a horse comes in? Yeah, and it's him shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so they light a pretty, a very simple shot glass of a clear, probably vodka. Yeah, they've, they've dubbed a guitar over this. I feel like I'm at a tight shed. Like... Oh. 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 Another shirtless man. But and it's not even the one I thought was gonna get it. Oh right, right. Everything's this out the, the window. Man. Everything's out of the out the window now. Has anyone noticed that the man in the background in the middle there looks like a G.I. Joe character? <laughs> he looks He's like got... shipwreck. I think that's Sh shipwreck. shipwreck, yes. That's <laughs> shipwreck, dog. Like that's him right there. Get put that Wait. hat on that boy and you have a shipwreck. I feel like like this is a journey. Like this is a hell of this is a this is the best short film I've seen in years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go through this horrible thing together. Anybody want to bet on body massage? <laughs> body massage, pork chop sandwiches. Oh! oh got his arms and chest and a blue beard. Ooh, ooh. Man, but. True professionals didn't By even way, feel it. Pa pause. Amazing heroic work from the two people involved there. But like, not no bullshit. That guy could have been really hurt. <laughs> Pool and boy like, says he just knows it's inconvenient. <laughs> like he's watching him say he does. I just want to yeah. say he's life life saving rub uh, uh, rub down. From Dude, two, yeah, the from cash, two. the cash wipe. Yeah, oh yeah, it God. is pretty casual. Yeah. By the way, that's somebody who could legitimately say, "Hey, y'all, rub me down. I got hot too fast." <laughs> he did. He did. He got hot very fast. There's one. There's one there's afterwards. A, there's that looks one like it's that's got to be very very short. Long. Uh, and I think there's a girl it's, in it. It's credits. Let's do a quick fire round. Oh, oh there is man, one. have we seen a a, a a lady in the flaming shot fails? I don't think so. We thought we were going to because of the that one man in his very girly hands. I don't, I don't want to watch this. 
she might not be white. She might be. Well, I guess Latino is. It's usually white. the guy. Very yeah. rarely are the girls excited to take the flaming shots in these videos. In, that <laughs> in the chat, they're saying, "I'm calling Mrs. Doubtfire." <laughs> Is it when the flame lights too hot and the meringue pie starts falling from her face? Yes. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh it her. is her. Oh. That's shoulder. We already see it. It's okay. Done. Well, no, she. Okay. So, it's yeah. On the she. All right. Now, place your bets, gentlemen. It's in her hands. And is, again, it, is, th is there a hair? Is there a hair? Yeah. Option? That'd be I the mean, Ghost Rider. That's probably still Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. I will call Ghost Rider. Okay. Oh, man. I don't want him to be a Ghost Rider. And also, she do not I don't either, but you made me play this dumb game. Or <laughs> well, wait. Or, or is, 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 is this Miss Doubtfire happened. that she lights herself on fire and then hits Pierce Brosnan with fruit? <laughs> um, at a world's end? I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? Ah, damn. I want to call success, but it's called. <laughs> Flaming fire mouth foolish, fail. <laughs> fire flaming mouth fail. Um, hell yeah, I, I'm gonna hope for Bluebeard. I'm gonna go Bluebeard as well. Please be Bluebeard. All right, here we go. In your mouth, buzz it. No, shit. Oh, oh, oh shit! It, it was, was a, a carry. In uh, and a, like a doll. Well, no, it's not a fireball, but she definitely. Yeah, like, it was oh. definitely a carry. Yeah. In your mouth, buzz it. No, shit. Oh shit. By the way, the yeah. people giving advice to these people are very bad at their job. Uh, they're, they're bad oh, at what? Whoa. Like, because there's a way to drink that, no problem. And well, that's... then you go, oh. Like, don't dump gasoline on your face while it's on fire. Yeah. Well, and also, pretty, blow it out. You're but... instructions, Jenna. Come on. <laughs> All right, that's yes. how we play. Her name is Jenna, by the way. Like, definitely, 100%. That's no, he yells, he yells her name. He goes, Jenna! Because oh, <laughs> I had 0% problem believing that her name was Jenna. I was oh, like, man. yeah, no, that sounds right. Total fucking Jenna. Hey, look at this. Uh, Jeff Goad on Twitter just wrote, Thanks for the recommendation. Just watched Cabin in the Woods episode, and they had some cool insight on it. They means you, Mikey. Yeah, hey, that's they you. They means me. I'm the only pre I get this a lot. People are like, dude, you got to give your editing team a raise. And I'm like, uh, You're like, motherfucker, that's me. It yeah, doesn't say me. movies and with Mikey's make, team. No, I make none money. So, well, you got Mike Robles and Everett up there who are awesome, both awesome people. So I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very good with this. Uh, oh wait, way, yeah. hold on! Uh, Sorry, what was I have another tweet in the middle there. Go back, go back. Somebody just that, tweeted that, that me. That was uh, uh, Jean make Francis like, Dubois, who, by the oh, way, is an no, author that's, that was that's uh, that's nominated awesome. for a Dragon Award uh, at Dragon Con last year. Yeah. Asks, can he make me like movies I was just mad about? I will say this: Mikey fucking made me appreciate The Lost World, which I genuinely don't like, and and I had I more don't. of an appreciation oh, I, for after watching yeah. these movies with Mikey. I I, hey, I I try to give you a perspective that will make you like things that maybe you didn't quite get, uh, and that's you know, that's the best way to say that. Chad Chad Allen just just piped in saying, "Just watch the Serenity app. Great suggestion. Gonna be here a while." There is a lot to watch. There's, this is uh, awesome. This is great. This is the world's slowest DDoS. <laughs> I think it's just called S for the service that you're giving all these people. <laughs> DS DDoS. distributed service. Distributed yeah DS distributed service. Oh. Definitely uh, due to terrific old fashioned service. Oh, <laughs> like, wait, that's neat. Oh, I get it. No, that was another one of the Guy Fieri menu items. <laughs> God, that was a magical first nine. That was a magical moment. I, I pushed, I pushed on that one. I did that this morning. I, I, I looked at the email and I was like, I, I, because I woke up really early this morning, I was like, I'm gonna write them a quiz, and I j I I started downloading Guy Fieri menus. Oh, so this was an original, because because previously you'd shown us some of the pr the, the the recycled ones I, that you'd done before. Well, wait, when you brought me on the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every quiz I've given you since oh, I've yeah. been on the show has been new. All right, yeah. Well, um, this this one was a lot of effort this morning, 
Uh, but yeah, when I when I got all those menus, I'm just reading through them. I'm like, are you kidding? No one's gonna believe this. No, no, no one. Man. They paid Bright off, did, baby. Apparently. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, that was that was that was our most epic journey. It was there was a lot. Says like the guy I who I won. I never thought I would get that reaction out of jury, and now I am just like, okay, okay, that's I, the. Bar. I, I'm not I'm not the that's same person, the man. I'm not the same person. No, hey, wait, I, right, I, I me, need Brian to have the same reaction, and then I have succeeded. Let me, uh, let me ask, let me, let, let me ask y'all something. When, when does Pac South run? Like, what are the days of Pac South? Friday, Saturday, I, Sunday. I can look it up. Just post it in the comments. I'm not gonna look that up right now. Oh, it's, okay, yeah. Uh, so Friday, Saturday, February, Sunday. It's I'm Friday, Saturday, it's Sunday. Really early hey, February. Re re real quick. Um, oh, no, it's late January. Sorry. <clears throat> on an important, timely note. Um. I'm just gonna put this little website right here. Um, uh, how many how many subscribers did uh oh, did did real funny boys or whatever have? <laughs> Boy funny guys has seventy two thousand seven eighty eight. God damn it! All right, we're just gonna we're gonna do a live telephone telephone. No, oh. uh, I, I no, I'm this calling it. <laughs> no, uh, like we're at seventy two one sixty eight. <laughs> So we need 600 that, that's people. That's almost exactly twice the number of subscribers that I have. Dude, which is a crime against humanity. I'm going to, how do I? No, I think 30, I'm like 35. I'm like, that's amazing. Oh my God. That's a lot of people. Oh no, it's not going up anymore. BTW, oh. I loved the Monster Factory episode. Where I pronounced their names wrong. Yes. And I have, I have, yeah. There, I, there is no, there is no world where I can atone and or explain that. Cause like of all the mistakes I've made and I've made many on the show, I have, mm. you know, but most of them are small and I, I do, I do, uh, uh, retractions, but pronouncing the McElroy's name wrong, which like people I know and am friends with. I I I had a weird moment of insanity. I I cannot because it was all late at night. Because mm -hmm. I by the way, you have to remember I'm working a full time job when I'm making this show. Yeah, and I'm recording this at like ten eleven at night, and I just I said McElroy, or sorry, I said McElroy instead mm -hmm. of McElroy. Yeah. That's what John says. John says M McElroy too. Yeah, I well the thing was like Griffin agreed with me. He's like, I think we pronounced her name wrong, which is a, a very cool move for him to do uh, publicly. But yeah, I I can't because everything else in that episode is spot on, and I just oh, say no. their name wrong, and it's like <laughs> not, I can't watch it now. Not three I can't days. Watch it now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so throwing shade on Twitter. Chris Bouvet hits up Captain Murphy saying. <laughs> Right is on Night Attack show talking about how he guarantees he'll hit 100k subs Ooh. in three days, and then and then the response is uh, Charlie Day saying, "I'm sorry." <laughs> and it's not three; it's six days. Yeah, which is still I, it, it, still an accurate gif, no matter what. Aggressive. Don't By the it. way, do you know that the what what the uh, the the motto for boy funny guys is? Uh, a day without laughter is a day wasted. How many I mean, that, that's, did Boy Funny Guys have again? Jesus Christ. It's all just ripped stuff. I'll tell you what, man. Big if true, IMO. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Like, uh, one day ago, video 800 views. Some of these are just a couple thousand views. These, but yeah. these all look like ripped videos. Yeah, they, they're, they are all ripped videos. Yeah. Man, fuck that. Don't give them There's anything. somebody planking on a tiger. Why are you showing a shitty channel? Oh, look at this baby. Delete it. Just <laughs> delete delete it. the <laughs> channel. Please delete the channel delete now, it. Bryce. Just press right. the delete button. Ticket, 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 ticket. Make it go away. It <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> I'm going to get a, a tweet from Boy Funny Guys in a second. They'll be like, uh, Michael Face? <laughs> Michael Face? Michael Here, Face? This is their description. We, up, we daily upload best funny and other videos comp. Completion, we focus on quality and unique content. Oh, God. What amazing English you have just I, I don't, don't I, worry. It's all capitalized. It is? Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, each word is capitalized. Oh, it's Jane Smith's channel. Now it makes so much <laughs> sense. <sighs> Babies I mean, are the smartest people. I'm, ju I'm just going to go out on a limb and say maybe that's – maybe this is 
the kind of channel that YouTube's trying to eh, let's do to let's, steer away from. Let's let's be right? less these guys. Let's let's steal less content and reward them with monetary value. Maybe yeah. uh, less less react videos. I, I mean, so but, but like this, for is, literally is, is a day ever. without laughter a day wasted? <laughs> <laughs> literally the first time ever on Serenity was the first time that someone ripped a video and re-uploaded it to their channel that oh, I wow. saw. I'm sure I, it had oh, to really? Before. But the first time someone just grabbed the content, put it on their channel, and was like, I made this. And I was like, it's called Movies with Mikey, and your name is Daryl. <laughs> like, we're on to you. So if you have all this content, because they did have content with all these different names on it, I'm like, all right. The, no. The, the telethon is canceled. We'll be here till six in the morning. We weren't doing that. I just still had that tab open. Mm. Mm. <laughs> just saying. You know what? It's ended. It's ended. It was a. It was a delightful dream I had. I'll see you Monday. See you next Monday. <laughs> well, it's like you just give it twenty four hours. <laughs> it's like, what's uh, the OMG Chad thing all over again? Carl's uh, got a link for us. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> Inspiring, but none of that allows us to try to do some good while secretly making fun of you. What do we have in okay. store for him, Justin? <laughs> you take such a sinister look at this. I genuinely want to help Chad. This is not about about mocking Chad. No. Uh, by, by the way, friend. pause real quick. Uh, look at that old Ch font. Chad. Chad came out to uh, to the scam school. Yeah, shoot. it was so fun to see. It was that an awesome guy. surprise. We just said, "Hey, we're shooting scam school," and then uh, a, a wild OMG Chad appeared, and he had been eating dinner with his parents like uh, two minutes away, and uh, hung out, did episodes, and then drove back to Dallas. Oh my oh. God! What was uh, was was Cheats around? Did he roll in? No, 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 no. no. But uh, but I asked I asked up on Cheats, and uh, he said that uh, everything seems to be going really, really well. Oh yeah, I know. Having a good time in which Chad looks lesser than us. Okay, but look. Okay, so here's the thing. Like Chad, Chad, this is I what tell the joke. This right? is Chad. This is Chad's uh, superpower is that he has the ability to take a good ribbing, and that is, and I mean that sincerely. Like, like that is why that is what makes him an extraordinarily person, an amazing person. All right, but look. Here's what we want to do. All right, well here let, let's. We want to get Chad a little bit closer to his goal on YouTube than he was when this episode so began. So let's go ahead and get a baseline. Yeah, your goal what was eight. what number so the by goal that I Right, the goal that I set was 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2013. I started about a month ago. Back <laughs> then I calculated I'm it old. that uh, I'd need about 100 subscribers a day. We are not making that goal. Okay, so so you're, you you want 10,000 <laughs> Right now, the thermometer at? is at what? Uh, the thermometer uh, out of the 10,000 would be, and I'm giving you a completely accurate number here, is 2,000 <laughs> and I believe 830, something like that. I say we, cool. I, I say we just we get it done tonight. Like, 2,944. No, 2, uh, uh, 2, uh, do you want to know what uh, Chad's at now? Yeah, what? Uh, a hundred and fifteen thousand. Oh, hey. for OMG, Chad. Well, channel. then I I hope it is just like that time with Chad. <laughs> like, Indeed. I, just three know what years later. <laughs> What's uh, that a day like? Without laughter. I, I just is a day wasted. I mean, that's not even you know. That's just his OMG Chad channel. Right. He also does OMG Craft. OMG what's, Craft. What's that is at? Probably crazy, right? Well, yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, that's at the old half mill. Yeah, five fifty-five. Five fifty-five. That must be cool. <laughs> I don't know. What to, I I just I'm like I don't know how to get there. I Dude, no. I, I, I look. Uh, I make a Minecraft I'm channel for you. Wine from a paper mug. And... <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look. I am officially pledging uh, uh, my uh, my entire social media might behind you. Every release, every everything, nothing but kind right. words and 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 pledges. And um, uh, but seriously, this this crossover action has to happen, right? We could do that. How often? How often do you make it down to Austin? Uh, well, I, with a reason when it happens. So with a reason, it'll happen. Okay. Well, let's make a reason. Can, can yeah, you, of course. Can you make yeah, a reason? This yeah. this uh... man, Mikey, act like you couldn't turn on Minecraft with Mikey and get to a half mil in like three days. <laughs> that, like that's that's all you need to do to get to that level. He, he God, gives this heartfelt so each one each me. one felt uh, the first episode is about uh, uh the stone he's like uh 
You know, when you first look at the stone, you don't notice its complexity. I'm going to say the dumbest, stupidest comment ever, and this is all factual, and I, I, I apologize for everything. I'm too good of friends with Notch to do Minecraft with Mikey. Oh, Ooh, name dropping. Oh my not, God. Not name dropping. I, 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 I steadfastly stand with Notch as, as, as crazy as his tweets get. This is a person that is just misunderstood. He was trying to make a difference. And I, I support my, my dude. I like and, Notch and a lot. Listen, I'm like, if, if I lived in that house, and just was screwing around with my private candy dispensers and my my three level pool. Like sometimes sure. I would write some crazy crap on Twitter too. Like oh, uh, I, I, I'm, he's he's trying to solve what he believes are problems in the world based on how he sees them. I, and I he's a person that does not this. he's not from here, yeah. so it's 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 off sometimes. But I think there's truth in what he's saying generally, without. Backing up because there's there's some stuff in there that I I obviously can't back up, but I I, I mean, think listen, like whatever guy. this is yeah. the, the I love the, the guy the he's like Marcus is a smart ass dude. I killed him once in Team Fortress Two for a charity thing. Veronica Belmont was there. I will ask Veronica about that. No, you won't. I'll but verify <laughs> that this has occurred. Text her now. <laughs> Text her now. <laughs> Root out the lies. <laughs> Like a pig for truffles. I'm, te- I'm texting right now. No problem. <laughs> I know. Brian's texting under the table. Just cover me. Is that not me. the creepiest fight? Like me in the middle, like <laughs> Test- texting sideways like this. Done. Hey, is I it a? Texted. I have texted. Is it a good sign that my tax guy just called me 18 at, minutes ago at 11 yeah. o'clock at night? Uh, let me, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh well, dear. Well, it's the end of the year, so. Hang on, let me, yeah, let me just. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me see. Are if you there's... gonna? Are you gonna talk talk to your tax guy on the internet? Oh no, goodness. No. Okay. It's like, like yeah, no. no I, I say I it is deductible. Be, so I'm just saying, right? cocaine is research, be, baby. Uh, hold on, I just got a text. You Everyone's did not text. pay. Taxes. I'm gonna pee. You guys do yeah. your thing. Go. Yeah. Pee. Hey, I'm do that. that wine. Mm-mm. Uh, you know what, John, Mikey, peeing with Mikey happening right now. I got a, I got a chance to actually wrap up a long term thing right now because I've I've swirled him down at deadline. Yeah, like oh, wait, what quite is it? literally the eleventh hour. <laughs> also, I wanted to do a real quick vo thing with you after this, but it'll take like five minutes. Yeah, or Raj or that. But it can I'm, be gonna, after I'm gonna make me a call. Uh oh. I'm Brad Brushwood, Uncle Sam. Wait, what, what was the party. episode? Funny Boys. Uh, the title was Funny pool, Guys, pool, Boys. Pool Boy Wilt. No, no, no. Oh, boy. Oh. F- ah, fuck, oh, man. Oh, yeah. What it's, it? uh, Boy Funny Guys. We got boy it. Funny Guys. How much you want to bet that that was the original name of Auntie Donna? <laughs> like, pretty good. Like, that's a It's just Boy Funny Guys. Boy Funny Guys. The boy. I'm loving their their podcast, by the way. Oh God, yeah, no, they're so fucking funny. Yeah, and it's great because it's on Australia time, so it comes out in the middle of the night when I'm awake. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Also, not getting all of their regional references, <laughs> yeah. but like, but they all laugh for them, so I laugh as well, and I'm like, oh, I know, fucking Brisbane's such a shitty place, right? Oh, those Sydney Northridgers, oh. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, man, they're fucking, they're great. And their Patreon's doing pretty good too, right? Yeah. Oops. I, I Is mean, that, uh, that yeah, let's thing? see. Let's, let's, let's just whip everybody. I love this. Out. This is a great element of our society where, where we just check in to see how much money our neighbors fucking making at Whoa. a, uh, damn 200 oh, people sh- donating shit. You want to know what? a month. Do you want to know? You want to know some secret sauce about Patreon? You accidentally pledged two thousand dollars as a joke and then forgot to undo it. I ha! did not do that. <laughs> However, uh, they sometimes default now to posts instead of overview because ah uh, shit. I don't know. I don't know if I should say this. Uh oh oh interesting. I think I hint, get what you're hinting at. Let me just say yeah. 
they're 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 a b testing whether or not people enjoy seeing the post page instead of the overview page well uh oh, that's because of one specific element of the overview page <laughs> sure that's interesting because like uh at least the way i see it and maybe this is the way the default is when i'm logged in and i'm a patron of a page it'll take me to posts automatically because i'm already a patron and presumably want to get content from yeah them. interesting uh, Mikey, you got a you got a Patreon? No, this comes up a lot, actually. Well, Mikey's got a real job. Uh, I I I have a full time job that pays me and gives me medical insurance and does all these amazing things. That sounds nice. I make video games yeah. for a living, and they're pretty popular, and people like them. Uh, well, I mean, that yeah, makes dude. making a Patreon more difficult because it sort of gives me a second master to serve. I guess is the best way to say that. Um, yeah, it's movie it, with Mikey. It, it creates complications patients. for me, and I and I don't necessarily need the money. So, wait, so I, you would feel more beholden to people that had pledged money per video? I, if you I had, I am more beholden to people. Once, once, mm. once this starts becoming a service as opposed to just the thing I do, that makes me beholden to the consumer. In a way sure. that I am not right now. That's which that's means actually I that could... that's that's super. And by the way, this is coming from the person that Brian brought us brought up Patreon to me like a year before we did it, and I was yeah. like, "Fuck you! You're gonna fucking ruin this beautiful deal we have, where it's like we have a golden I'd, relationship." I have no problem with Patreon. I did one with Chris for Chainsaw Suit. Like we had one, yeah, but we weren't doing a podcast anymore, so it had to go. I sure. I, I'm just not there to. I'm working for all of you. So wait, are you? Which, which is how I I look at that morally. And so you. And so wait, but even if it were per episode and not per month, because I would see if it's per month, then it's like, yeah, I got to give you your money's no, worth. No, it it would be per. It would have to be per episode. Like I have thought about it. I have a Patreon account, and they hit me up all the time. Like, hey, by the way, you want to? We want to do a Skype call, and I'm like, oh, okay, oh, no, well. not really. Oh damn, they're out there. They're out there fucking recruiting. I guess they we were are, just well, well, I signed I signed up because I was like, eh, maybe I'll do this. And like as I dip my toe in, I realized. Eh, yeah, at eh. one point I went in and retyped up my Patreon because I was not putting out music for a hot minute. And part of it was it originally was that I would be making stuff for like specifically for people and based on requests and stuff. Uh, and I was like, hey, I'm not even feeling it right now. I'm going to have to just like just change the terms of the deal yeah i and 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 i've thought about all that like i having executive producers with their names in front of my show i can sell that for probably a lot of money okay. like i i could do just that and not do anything else i think i just talked myself back into having a patreon <laughs> I, I actually i think i went the other direction i was like there's not a downside here there's well, that's, what, I, really that's what I'm saying. It's it like, like you know, because literally it's just whenever you put it out, you also post it to this other site, but you also get fucking a hundred dollars. Like, yeah, well, yeah, it it probably be more than a hundred dollars. Let's let's be. Oh shit! Let's be fair if you here. Like I mean, uh, uh, Chris, Chris and I's Patreon got to to seventeen hundred or whatever or eighteen hundred, yeah. and. We weren't even doing that much stuff. I mean, we we're doing the podcast, which is what basically what people were paying for. Like movies, and Mikey was yeah. not part of that, other than the executive producer tier. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident we could push past that. I think you could do I, very, I, very well because what you have is a very passionate audience. I mean, listen, number one, I don't, want, all I don't want people owning that that are not me. Who's is, owning what? Ain't nobody owning shit. It's fucking support. That's, fair. that's well, yeah, and I and I feel it as that. I I got to get over the full time job thing. It's it's not simple. Cause it. Cause I mean, it, listen. It, I had a full time job wherein I traveled around the world and fucking like got paid very well for it, and it was really really rad, and I very much enjoyed it. And like the travel was taxing at a certain point, but that didn't stop me from collecting on fucking three patreons and it was fucking great to understand that i had a another set of fucking income coming in 
and it, it worked harmonious and everybody was happy. Now that I, might not be the same I, thing. I honestly feel like maybe I'm just waiting for it to be a little bigger. Cause it, I mean, I'm only at thirty five thousand. That's not the moon. That's you know? that seems like a uh, that seems like a reasonable. Yeah, there's, I don't know, man. I mean, like, there's like, a hold middle off, ground honestly. on YouTube that you do not stay at. Yeah, and I am there. You either go up or down. You do not stay at thirty five thousand ever. Like, find me a channel with 35,000 subscribers right now other than me. Yeah. You do not stay there. You're a unicorn. So I'm, I'm, I'm also sort around of waiting, the meadow. waiting to see what happens. I either expand and I, became, I become something like Every Frame's a Painting with Tony Zhu, which I think is the greatest film show on YouTube, period. Or I don't. And I am, I am there. And I have I have made selections very much in that in that mindset. I I mean the last dude, I did adaptation and nobody watched it. I'm never putting a movie like that up again. Period. End of story. Wait, Charlie Kaufman? Are we out on all dude, Charlie Kaufman's? I kinda, yeah. Actually, yeah. Because it was voted in. And I thought, yeah, like because vo- I have safeguards if it's voted in clearly there's there's a a a measurable part of my desire for it yeah and adaptation did did performed worse than literally any other episode of movies of mikey ever wow you want to know what i was about to be like that's bullshit man adaptation's like one of my favorite movies and then i just realized i haven't seen your episode so i'm the fucking problem so you know you're gonna watch it and you're gonna be like wow what a really good it's a little shorter than other ones but man i nailed that movie and 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 i'm not that's not that's not an egotistical statement because there's other movies i don't think i nailed Hey man, I, I hit a bullseye on that. And you it, did. And you it, did adaptation. It didn't move now, the needle. You, it didn't perform well. You'll never do it, fucking Charlie Kaufman again. That's how much fuck fish. That's how much fuck fish. Um, I did do Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which does not fuck fish. I did see, and that was great. Yeah, which had a lot of views. Which was also weird because that movie. Well, but that was also one of them where it's like, and here's the thing is like what what I really dig about your channel and your take on things is that very often there's kind of like the larger point to it. It's like, all right, well, here's this movie and here's some insightful elements of the movie and here's some facts about the movie that you might not have known. And here are these. That's that's the word I would use is perspective. But then there's also the like, hey. Every remake is kind of cool in its own way, which is what I liked about Hitchhiker's Guide, which is like, yeah. hey, like, like everything should be on its own terms and, and we should always want to see a different well, take. I, I'm, I'm never going to take a side that retelling a story in a new way is a bad thing. And like Hitchhiker, yeah. there's so many people that cared and there's so many people that led to this moment that is imperfect. We can all agree is imperfect. <laughs> But it makes because because this this is my my problem with film commentary just in general is that you have all these reviewers and all these people giving you this this knee jerk instantaneous is OK. I would have cut some out of the middle, but it was all right. And they're yeah. not they don't understand what it is they've seen. Yeah. And if I'm doing anything, it's don't talk about a film. Until you understand what it is you've seen. I think that is so important. Like, don't discuss art until you get it. So, and, and, and we by, have by a, get a it, society mean, that's what? predicated on reviewing things instantly, day of, and none of them get it. They, so, right, so, do they uh, video uh, games, uh, movies, uh, TV, anything? They don't get, get it, it. By get it, do you mean understand what the creator's intent was? It's more, it's a levels thing. Like we, okay. we have surface level. Everybody gets surface level and you review at the surface level. Yeah. But you cannot tell me that the Battle of the Bastards episode of Game of Thrones did yeah. not have multiple levels that existed for very specific reasons yeah. that everyone posting their thoughts on it was not looking at. 
Sure. I could do I could do a, a movies of Mikey on on Battle of the Bastards, Game of Thrones, and I could blow everyone's mind right now. And that's not about how good that episode is, because I don't I I it, it, on a level of depth, I don't think it's there. But that's just what I think about commentary about film, TV, and video games right now. Yeah, they're not taking a moment to consider the decisions of the creators. It is but simply how much, how much a that surface is just level. The, the, like, like how much of that is just the deadline industrial complex where everything's got to get out ASAP because that's where the views and the clicks are. Which, which is true. That's undeniably true. But it doesn't make like these are not mutually exclusive ideas. Yeah. Absolutely. At all. Uh, and hey, by the and way, uh, I don't, just, just I don't real have quick, a tech uh, table to hit my show with. I don't have to review films. I don't get pre-release films. I don't have to meet that. So I am just saying what I want to say about a specific film at a specific time. Uh, before he says it again, Waffle Avagus in the chat room uh, uh, points out that 35K, although certainly uh, in its own strata in terms of YouTube channels, Certainly bigger than the audience of this very show uh, uh, right here. Okay. So, uh, you know, and when we do okay on Patreon, so certainly I feel like you could. But you're you could, not a YouTube show. You are a Twitch or a, or or whatever. a podcast. I don't even know what you guys podcast. stream podcast. on. A, I guess you guys just stream here. and it's not a thing. But your audience is live. It's not YouTube, yes. right? Like, like let, let's be fair to the... Your audience is larger than mine. To say Night Attack is more... Is less oh, known no, no, no. than Our audience is original small. and movies. Our and audience is definitely it's small. Salacious. We, like, we have a really active audience, especially during the live show. But, yeah. like, Tiny. our download numbers are, like, uh, to pull back the curtain, can be, like, ten to 12,000, give or take, the, depending on the week. For the download, not Downloads. the live. Right. What is your what is your live number? What is the live number right now? Uh, if we go by based on just like how many people are in the chat room, uh, we're looking at probably uh, un, about number. about two hundred. But yeah, then there are people who are just watching and don't join the chat, uh, and we don't use Twitch or anything. So we we actually are joining the joining the chat is probably less than ten percent. Being honest. yeah. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, I, yeah, we're, not, what, we're not day, fighting. We're not comparing in that way. So no, 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 no. I, I mean, I, I listen. I think that like you, you on Patreon, I think is is a very interesting proposition because like the the craft is there and the people that understand it, I think, want to reward it, which is always the yeah. the, the big the big thing. And 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 that is happening, and people ask me all the time. Uh, Patreon feels like a step to me where that is now my full time job, and that that it that is a world rotate that I don't quite understand. I mean, yet. listen, I'm I'm, and I'm not I'm totally excited with you at all. I'm 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 totally with you because I for me I I had a hard time even conceptualizing it because in in my mind I I think if not exactly I had similar yeah. different ideas of how how money would affect my own motivation toward things and, and how it would affect how I dealt with criticism, how I dealt with uh, pressure, you know, that it would just change the equation. And so well, I will well, never judge anybody for, for like wondering how that will mix in because my, my number one thing is don't fuck with your machine. If your, if your machine is, is, is making something good, yeah. do not fuck with it. Look, but, but, but I can go higher level. Look at it from the other side. Okay. I will. The and moment like, that occurs, yeah, I am no longer working on Borderlands, which is dumb. I I I I what? have no shame in saying I'm a large part of what Borderlands is. Yeah, and I love doing it. So why would I stop I, doing I that? that the, the, the weird the weird thing to me, and what I would like to explore is where you think that that is is ultimately a thing that it's like, once you like, once you turn on the faucet for movies with Mikey, that it's not passive income. It is instead full-time income. It's like, not, like, it's not binary. You are correct in that, in that regard, but I do answer to multiple masters. The second I turn that on, it, it starts making decisions for me. I think undeniably, um, then they're small. 
and they're not a thing, but it does. It does. It does pull and it does create decision points. Is that from yourself though? Is that your own pressure in your own I head? I have a lot of experience with Patreon with me and Chris and what we were doing. So yeah. I'm not just talking out of my ass. Oh, no, 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 no. I just mean like not, how, it, how you do your own calculus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's just, it's, I have, I have a fear of taking that step and I'm much more comfortable with that fear than I was four months ago, for mm -hmm. example. I think a Movies and Mikey Patreon is an inevitability in 2017, without question, like it's it's going to happen. It's um, you working through it. Yeah, I'm 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 just thinking it through. I don't want to make the wrong move. I'm very very careful in that way, and I I, I don't necessarily see a, a movies of Mikey Patreon as a business. Like movies of Mikey is not a business for me. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Uh, gam gamboling man in the comments said Anthony Birch is a better Borderlands writer than Mikey Newman. Shots fired. He said that comment, and I just want to respond to that for a moment. Okay, I'm Go not ahead. disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. It's a fucked up thing to say. Uh, <laughs> I like I like Anthony. I think he's a very funny writer. I hired him. Which oh tells shit! You something. Pop, and pop, pop. Uh, 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 he wrote Borderlands Two. And I also wrote a lot of Borderlands 2, though he was the head writer on that, and I will give him credit, and I think he's a funny guy, but go fuck yourself. Maybe oh, a little bit. Oh, shit. Maybe a little bit. Like, if you're trying to get a rise out of me, you succeeded, uh, but you're also yeah, wrong and unresearched and just uneducated, it's just as in, in a general sense. So don't, don't, just don't, just don't come at me with that. Just don't come at me with that. Uh, I, think An I think Anthony's a genius and I love his work. So go God away. Damn. I'm a, I'm like, a you pool fucking boys did team. It. I'm team pool boy. Hashtag pool boy. We're, we're there. We're good. Man, yeah. I'll tell you what, Thank Mike, you, Bryce. You, you're. You fucking did it, baby. You found the truth at the bottom of some mug wine. Dude, like, I you're don't all deal, looking for the truth I and you not found it. Deal with hecklers. I just I just don't. You take a shot at Mikey, you best not miss. You are correct, Ben Franklin. Dude, I know. Fucking gambling man is fucking laid out. Look, he apologized. He apologized already. <laughs> I accept your apology. I apologize for, for taking a shot at you. I, d I don't do good with people trying to pit me against Anthony. He's a smart, he's a smart ass dude who writes really good stuff. No, I mean, I, knowing, knowing gambling man in the chat, I think he, uh, he, he meant it in a, in a sarcastic way, but, uh, he got Click laid out shot anyway. Click clack, bitch. Click clack. Hey, you got to understand. I get that stuff all the time. Man, I can't even understand. Like, 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 uh, no, no bullshit. Like, between the movies thing and the video game thing, like, I'm not even kidding. That, like, I literally do a politics podcast now, and I have to fucking answer political emails, uh, uh every day. Like, I can't handle movie criticism and fucking video game criticism. That shit is too hot for me. I, I, I will talk about fucking this election often, honestly, all day honestly, before honestly. I get into fucking movies and video games. That shit is wild, dude. dude. I the the it there are danger zones. I will say that. Like I can talk about the fountain and I can say whatever I want about Darren Aronofsky's masterpiece and no one will say shit to me for till the end of time. Yeah. Second, the millisecond the nanosecond. <laughs> I have a thought about Star Wars. <laughs> uh -oh. Um actually, uh uh, uh, well, the Jedi actually encourage, uh, both hate and love. No, these are not fucking interchangeable things. Yeah. Hate is the dark side. Love is the light side. This is not a negotiable statement. This is not a negotiable place we find ourselves in. Yeah. You guys, and, and they defend the, pre these are prequel apologists that come at me every mm. single time. Saying, mm. you, I don't understand the subtlety or I don't understand the art. If you don't understand that hate is the dark side, which I think is undeniable, and the people that use the word hate are generally bad guys in, in a general sense. Yeah. Uh, 
if if you don't understand that love is the force, yeah, and hate is the dark side, which which I think is surface level obvious shit. And they want they want to talk about the prequels and they want to talk about how they muck them up in that way. The prequels are bad because of that. They're not good because of that. Because that that argues against what Star Wars is about. And if you want to argue that hate leads to a, a more even world where we can argue about the poetry of all of our emotions, I want to point you toward the world is better if you love it. And that is what Star Wars means, and that's why it means something. And if you want to argue that, dig a hole and and crawl into it because and then bury it yeah and and just bury your own self because yeah. that has no value to the world and Again, you, man, you, too hot. you can argue that attack of the clones is a good film you're Get wrong raise about my face Daxter wrong, Jester. but you can argue that but at the end of the day you arguing that does not make the world better. And if yeah. you don't understand that the point of my show is not to make you love the films I'm talking about, it's for you to go out and make the world a better place. If you don't get that, then don't comment. Uh, hey, um, where, uh, you're watching Westworld? Well, that got real. That got real. Let me ask, let me ask you a question because we're on this. Yes, I'm watching uh, Westworld. Yeah, absolutely. Where are you at on Westworld? I love it, and I love that I don't know what's happening. I gave up on trying to guess. I'm very frustrated with that show. Everyone in the chat knows that I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> I am. Man, well, like, we're all fucking tipsy, man. I'm drinking mug wine. I got a big. Well, it's because because I'm very guarded about my opinions, and tonight I'm less guarded, and I think that's what it is. Hey, perfect why, timing, why Brian. Why are you conflicted on Westworld? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Brian uh, is outspoken. Brian is yeah. on Westworld. Is Brian that... is outspoken in his uh, hatred of. I, 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 okay, God I damn it! Don't do that! Don't, don't you know. miscategorize? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm not no. trying to cause an issue. I, I just, I no, literally no. Well, don't well first that. of all, um, we have a we have a delightful, uh, passionate fan base on uh, Cord Killers. Um, that. I find myself in the weirdest position of people raging. Like I begin the review by saying, I like it. I'm continuing to watch it. I'm confused why I like it because here are some things that don't add up. And I, I explain a bunch of things that don't add up and it's like, well, if this, then why not that? And why are you dumb? And, blah, 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 blah. and then, and then they're like, why do you hate Westworld? And I'm like, no, I like Westworld. And they're like, but you don't like it. Right. You like it wrong. Right. And uh, that's no, very. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and raise my hand. Uh, I'm gonna raise my hand uh, and say I don't like Westworld, and I think it sure. is a bad show. Okay, can, can, I can uh, I can yeah, understand why you hold on, hold on hold on hold on. It I, is. Well, I, it is. I, I, have, I have I have qualifiers, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a bad I'm show. Gonna listen also, to can, can, can I finish? I, I, I have another hot take. I have another hot take that I would like to get out. Uh, I see people out here in these streets saying, uh, "Oh, Westworld is like Lost." No. Number one. You better take that shit out your mouth because Lost, 10 episodes in, was an oh, infinitely back. better show than Westworld. It was a fucking great show. You know why? Because you had characters that you understand with motivations and possibilities and questions that you understood <laughs> to be back. answered. I'm coming back. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make it. Mom, I can make it. So so here's, no, I'm listening. here's, here's the parallel, right? Tell me why Lost is a better show than Westworld. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell you why the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I believe Justin just said it was infinitely better. Oh, it totally. Than, is. Uh, yeah, than, I will. Than, uh, at this point, at this point. I will explain it. Because uh, Lost. Oh, hold, hold, I, I, motherfucker, I, I, I thought Brian you were asking finish. for my opinion. What's going no, on? Uh, me and Mikey were having a conversation and you walked in and started giving your Westworld more, takes. I, he asked Justin, me. Justin, you I asked me. Your point within seconds. Brian, please continue. 
Uh, okay, look, here, here's the thing. Um, uh, you're J.R.R. Tolkien, and you realize you want to uh, tell a story about an expansive universe, and you want to build it all out. You do it in three parts. First thing you do is you write The Hobbit, a simple tale with a direct narrative and a character that's relatable who goes through a transformative arc. Everybody goes along for the ride. Then you want to tell an epic tale told in three parts, which you do, and everybody goes for the longer ride because it's a familiar world that they want to get a deeper fractal relationship with. Then, after... After the fact, you release the similar, similar. I can't even say the guy Cimmerillion. name. Cimmerillion, Cimmerillion, yep. right? Cimmerillion, right? Filled with all the songs and the backstories and all the blah, 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 blah. Fucking Westworld is doing it in reverse. They're like, we're going to get everybody in. We're going to tell all the songs and crazy backstory and they're going to love the world so fucking much. They won't, they, they'll be frosting, frothing at the mouth to actually hear a story told in this world. And then, uh, and, and you know what? It's not working. And that's my point. Okay, I disagree with your point, but I accept it. Okay, juice. But uh, but jury wants to go. I'm gonna let you guys destroy right. the show, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to support it. Okay, because I got so it. here's all right. So uh, here's my larger Westworld criticism, and then I will explain why Lost drop was it like it's hot, homie. Let's go to me to me a better show. Uh, Westworld is a show that has a brilliant, and, and I mean brilliant with a capital B premise, uh, uh, and it has great ideas and it has a a bold underlined a list cast except for bobo hemsworth uh but other than that like you have you have actors who can fucking like deliver uh, a dialogue uh, by and large with, with uh you know a very very few rivals on television sure the problem that i believe westworld in my mind or uh, that i find frustrating i'm not going to say it's a problem i find it frustrating frustrating is not... a better way to describe that than a, a problem uh, ratings would disagree with your problem. Well, and it. also the reviews on the IMDb. That's the weird part is just like, no, you're wrong. You need to like it exactly no, the yeah, right listen, the, the, my frustrations with the show. I uh, apparently have to do a movies in my camp on Westworld. Apparently. You might have to. Oh. It, are that I, I believe that I, I long for the show to not have to layer their very awesome uh, – uh, ideas about consciousness and what is, uh, sure. uh you know, what, what is reality and, and what is, uh, you know, how do you know that AI has emerged and, and what is God, yada, yada, yada. You've got some really, really meaty things and yet they feel very, very, uh, insistent on layering them over and over and over with all of these like dual timelines that they're not going to reveal until the last two episodes. Uh, this is going to be very spoilery by the way. Uh, the, the, if the you believe that, that dual timelines are a thing, yeah. Which, by uh, the way, which, the, the most interesting question in all of Westworld, Westworld did not pose. It was posed in Reddit about Westworld. Like, what are they doing? Like, like well, Scott. I mean, well, so, right. so here's, I think here's the my people thing. generally watching the show are aware of what they're doing. And people are trying to overcomplicate a thing much like Lost, much okay. like Lost, to create so, a different storyline than the one they're necessarily telling. Than the one they're telling. Hey, You're right. Also, and, and, uh, I'm uh, called timeout. You don't get to use the movies with Mikey voice. You don't get to use that poignant, sickly, sweet, as, as nostalgic, out, that's my floating dog, above the clouds so. voice that tricks Stop us all into thinking. Stop doing a blanket impression. Yes. <laughs> Westworld is so good because it's better than Star Wars Episode Two. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm. I'm. It's all you. All right. So I mean, I I I, I get very very frustrated with. The A, the complications that they are giving, and B, the way that they are stringing along the plot. Now, I can understand sure. that this is a show, by all accounts, like that was in conflict with the network and has had to be rewritten and and has taken kind of different paths, and that's my that that might explain why it has been. I don't necessarily think that's true, but go on. Well, that's been reported at least. Like, so I, I don't know how true it is. Like, that's that's Gosh, what it. If only the election and what was reported showed us what our press is capable of. Go on. What does the New York Times upshot say about Westworld's production schedule? Uh, go on. The reason why I would say through ten episodes, Lost was a better show is that a I felt more invested in at least. I mean, there were five characters for which I would count. Sure. Jack Sawyer, Hurley, Locke, uh, Kate. And Come the on, Koreans. Kate, Kate, Kate. Yeah, and and and, and Jin and Son, right? Like you know that uh, that I felt invested in. Yeah. By this point, and sure, 
this is probably my biggest frustration that I think Lost got really, really right, is that, sure, they strung along a few big, gigantic mysteries far too long, and they are the poster child of a show that, uh, story-wise, paid for their bills by credit card until the point that you realize that they were bankrupt six seasons in, right? But... I'm not going to defend the sixth season of Lost. I'll defend the other five. No, no, no. Neither I will I. not Neither defend I, the sixth right? season of Lost. I will. I like but, it. But it's bad. They didn't go an entire season pretending that Locke, like they didn't, they didn't, they had one episode where you thought Locke was, uh, uh, you didn't realize that Locke was in a wheelchair and now he could walk on the island. Fuck you. No, no. They went two entire seasons with Locke pretending he was still Locke even though that motherfucker was dead. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not allowed. We're talking about the first 10 Do episodes. Talking about the first 10 episodes, argument. Mikey. Talking about the first 10 episodes. First 10 episodes. Hey, first 10 episodes. Time out. Uh, 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 overruled. Hey, overruled. This is a trial of Westworld. I will advise both counselors to keep their arguments to Westworld. <laughs> no, 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 no. This was, this was, this is, this is Westworld versus Lost. I'm saying that. I, that I, he, I, I agree with the points taken. I'm just saying. Don't touch season six like failures of uh, law. Uh, Counselor Mikey, not- don't, Fair don't, don't. I will find you in contempt of I, night attack. I apologize. R- redacted. All I'm saying is this: the, they did one of the greatest episodes that 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 made the world fall in love with Lost was Sad Sack Lock. You okay, realize at the end the of that episode that he's crippled right now, and now he walks. Just go. Because that's not going to get better for you. All right, uh, the uh, 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 are going to over. Counselor your- Jerry. Uh, all I'm I'll saying advise is the that... jury to not listen to jury talk about Lost anymore. <laughs> I just all wanted to say jury. All I'm saying is court. this. He asked for it. All, all I'm saying is this. Is that, like, like there is a benefit to revealing some of your stories or some of your mysteries earlier. And that's, that is a great frustration I have with Westworld. Is that all Westworld of their mysteries have to go to the end of the season. Some of their mysteries early? Uh, all right, Justin, I'm going to need you to be the judge because I need to give one more... Um, hot take on Westworld. Uh, unironically. He did not answer my question. Sorry, what I was... didn't hear your question because Brian was yelling. Uh, uh, what What was the last thing you said? <laughs> because I, when you said it, you said a very conclusive statement and my question was, do you, do you believe that, that Westworld is not doing that? It was answering your questions, I believe is what I you I believe said. that with, with questions that either I believe have been answered later in the season could have been resolved earlier and made for a better show. All right. So including the dual timeline. If, if, if I, if I can, by the way, dual timeline is not actually part of the show. That is not confirmed. It seemed heavily hinted in this last episode. It's not confirmed. And by the way, let, let's say dual timelines, 25 years apart by what people are saying versus 12 seconds apart or whatever. Right, yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I'm not saying there's not a dual timeline. Flash, flash forwards and flash backwards. Yeah. Because okay. like sure. a mu- we could say a month pretty easily. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, oh, okay. I'm saying like I'm, years they're not they're years. not hinting at it with the two logos and shit like that. Like I, I, you know they're 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 pretty obviously putting that fucking out. Gee, if only there was a reason that a show called Westworld, which is a remake of another timeline and another film, has another. I have an anecdote. Like, that I think West sums World already up. already has two timelines because it has a film. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I think we've heard a lot here. I think I have one little simple story I'd like to tell all of you that I believe will sum up the frustrations of those who want so much to love this beloved property. Now, back in a simpler time, the 1970s, a visionary young director had his first movie called Westworld. It was a simple movie about robots that went crazy and you worried about the imperiled humans in the park. Well, now we got something calling itself Westworld, and I'm not quite sure what's going on. In fact, I spoke to your friend of mine, Mr. Scott Johnson, who said... Is that what you think Michael Crichton sounds like? I'm sorry. No, no, this is a Southern, Southern Lawyer. Southern Lawyer. Yeah. Well, Michael Crichton did write and direct. Well, yeah, no, 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 he no, hired no, Brian, Southern no, Lawyer. No, say, That's say who I'm you talking are. about. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm me. I'm just a simple Southern lawyer. I'm just go. here to talk about and character. represent the frustrations of the people. You didn't get it because you didn't say your name immediately. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Well, I'm just a simple Southern lawyer. Uh, 
So, in all seriousness, Scott Johnson, loving the show, summed up why he was excited about it. And he did so saying, oh, man, you know what I loved is that uh, the, the end of that episode, episode 9 out of 10 out of the first season that we watched, had this crazy mashup of images. Uh, you know, she's wearing these clothes. Now she's wearing the dress. What time is it? Uh, uh, wh where's stuff going? Who's dead? Who's alive? Uh, it's great. And I that said... Is, that doesn't sound like an hold intelligent... On. Hold on. Hold on. These okay. are all valid questions because I don't know. I couldn't answer any of those to him. That was a bunch of random stuff. I said, in your arc, when you plan the first season of what you hope to be one of the most beloved shows of all time, you have all the money in the world, all the talent in the world, you have gorgeous, incredible actors, you have set pieces that uh, people would kill for... The top question on episode 9 out of 10 should probably not be, oh man, I can't wait to find out what's going on. Because that is what everyone is wondering right now. It's season one. Yeah. Name, name a show that you understood in season one. I understood tell, Battlestar tell Galactica in the first five minutes. Because it wasn't lost, I'll tell you that. Battlestar Galactica in the first five minutes told me with sleepy eyes and a and a uh, clock with 33 Battle, and the, tape. The uh, remake or the original? The remake, the remake. Well, The, the, the remake that ended uh, showing us that God and angels would save us. That, I, that show I'm told sorry, you that that I'm would sorry. happen in season one? The, I'm the sorry. Fina the finale is not Is on that trial. what happened? Is, hold on. What's your thesis? Season ones. That... Season ones, dog. Season ones. I think I think Westworld has a, has had a perfect season one. I I think it's amazing. I think it's incredible. Then, oh, your your rebuttal, sir. Your rebuttal to all my, our my hatred. rebuttal is as and and I'm gonna take the unfair stance before taking the fair stance. My okay. unfair stance is that as a game developer their thoughts on artificial intelligence and the constraints with, with, within which those exist is so on the nose and so perfect that it's actually scary, um, which is not a common thing people are going to get. But the yeah. way they edge case problems is exactly how game developers think. There is there is a zero percent chance that they are not talking to people that actually create AI for for simulations like we do. But that doesn't make the show good. I'm just saying that's what in, why in, in, why in, I like I, it personally. In in fact, just yeah. a one sentence interjection. That is why I am distanced emotionally from the show because I view it through the lens of right. a video game. And why I've killed... I killed why I am not distanced emotionally from the show is at the moment you ping sentience into a being because unequivocally and undebatably there are at least two characters, probably more like four, but there are at least two on the show that have gained sentience that are artificial intelligences and it asks large looming questions about what any of this means what what do we owe if we create an intelligence what do we owe that intelligence because Agreed. freedom is a very interesting question because if I, if i create an intelligence for a theme park but i accidentally give it sentience for example do i owe that sentience freedom do i owe that sentience an opportunity not to be a pawn in this park. And and I, I think what, what what Maeve is doing as a character is more interesting than than most of the other characters. I disagree because Maeve wants to go outside not knowing what's outside. And I know she doesn't know what's outside because we don't know what's outside. She has two sick. Sounds like X Machina all over again. Hold Brian, on. Brian, just come on. Bring the artillery. What, fucking what give me give me the quote. I I I have dined out on this fucking quote. You have no idea how much I've dined out on Brian's the fucking one liner whole on Mave. Mave three person army makes no goddamn sense. You got two techs in the dead of night fixing an animatronic 
Chuck E. Cheese. And all of a sudden, the Chuck E. Cheese says, hey, you work for me now. And they're like, oh, I guess we do. The and Chuck E. Cheese sliced one of their throats and no. forced the other one to save them. That is not, okay, first of all, that was like the eighth time that they did it, and it was a trap that they got. Uh, 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 why are they doing anything Chuck E. Cheese says to do? And second of all, when she slices the goddamn throat, the first thing they do is use the fix-it laser so there can't possibly any be goddamn consequences on the show. We've had no, two no, human no. deaths. She two human deaths. No, that one that undersells Maeve, Maeve made that move based okay. solely on doing the fix. You know what? Microcosm. Microcosm. Stop everything. Micro everything sure. begins Microcosm. at one moment. Felix is fixing a broken Chuck E. Cheese. And broken Chuck E. Cheese says, hey, give me super intelligence. And then Felix does it. Why? Because was... I'm wow. the captain of this pizza parlor now. <laughs> Why? Yeah. She forced him. No, I, I she didn't. She had no leverage. She's a fucking really? Chuck E. Cheese robot that he's there to repair. And the Chuck E. Cheese robot says, please jeopardize your job. Can we, can we pull back for a second? No, we cannot. It's all about no. this moment. Everything wrong about I, this moment I, I, I is am. everything I'm that's wrong. Pull it back. With... Hey, Bri, 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 Bri. It's can fine. Please pull it back. Let, let's, pull it back. Let's, maybe pull back is not what I'm saying. Can we extrapolate this moment for a moment? Go because what, what you have just said, and 100% of it is correct. I'm not arguing with anything you just argued or have said. But if you recognize sentience within the person that you're talking about, everything you said is irrelevant. Because it is myopic, and it is immoral, and it is unethical. Because you are you are you are basically pushing for the death of a sentient thing, a sentient entity, and that matters to me. And I guess we all kind of land on different spots because, like episode two, I believed Maeve was 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 sentient, and I think everyone kind of picks a different spot on that timeline. But if you create an artificial intelligence, and maybe this is coming from me actually diving into this with my ex machina episode, if you create an actual sentient intelligence, your moral and ethical imperative is to do what that sentience needs. And this is not an entertainment game. This is not, I made a thing to do a thing. This is a, a sentient artifact. Mikey, I, 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 I'm with you 110%. I, I think that these are absolutely like, like the kind of questions that have never been asked on television before. I just wish they were being told in tighter, more coherent stories. I just wish I, I backed I, away from the mic when you fired me up to, to go into a frothing rage, and I'm sure I blew out the mic and, and oh, sounded fine. far you're, more you're, passionate I'm, and angry than I actually am. I'm, I mean, I'm sweating a little over here, but uh, don't, don't, we, I'm, don't, I'm don't. riding the, the mic. Uh, the, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, the reason this show is good is that we're arguing this. I, well, no, no, no. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's, but the problem is we're not arguing the actual question. I had these arguments about Walking Dead too, well, I, and Walking Dead I, is super I, popular. That doesn't make Walking it a good Dead, show. I will throw under the nearest bus at my earliest convenience. Real quick, I'm just though, saying, I, I've had these conversations about Walking Dead too. I would, I would say, Walking Dead to Westworld is archaic and reckless. I. Okay, well, let's table I'll that. I'll take Burke. reckless. I, was I don't Burke know about our kids. Let's let's put let's put a pin in I'll that. I'll take reckless. Uh, but but uh, I I would submit that it sounds like we're arguing two different things because you you are submitting the the postulate that this is a really fascinating question and I think we all agree it's a really fascinating question. Yeah. I just don't think me and Justin think they've ever asked it yet. I think that they've they've done a really poor job of of expressing that. No, no, no. I, I think I think they've asked it. I think they've asked it. And then they've also said, oh, but wait, uh, is is Arnold fucking uh, 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 Walt Disney's fucking mystery partner that nobody seems to know? Like, is this 
30 years ago or is it now? I don't know. Why is Dolores in her old fucking uh, dress when she's talking to Arnold in the fucking basement? Like, does Arnold just come up and put on a different shirt and talk to her? Like, like I think there's just, you know, a lot of cruft around a really, yeah. really, really, really rad Ar- question. Ar- Arnold, oddly, is an, an, an inherently worthless idea because we don't have any weight to Arnold. Arnold Agreed. has no weight. So the more time they spend on it, we don't get it. It's but but to compare it to Lost. And yet again, he's the central the hatch history. is meaningless until we understand what is uh-uh. in the hatch. No, 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 Lost, no, 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 no. The same goddamn thing. No, ha- the, the hatch is the hatch is in the first come season of Lost. On. The hatch is come on for for Locke who does not understand the power of the island yet has been given a second lease on life who believes he is, in he, the is he is the dual he is he is the dual leader of a a colony of refugees right sure and there's one person that is leading them to divert uh, of uh, force and and uh, 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 rations or whatever to go do this one thing and there's somebody else who's saying we will die if you keep doing it that's what the hatch represents because for him he needs to follow this which, island which is wherever. Not it will what t- the hatch represented in season one, which was yes, my it point. is. And you failed it. You failed. No, the point. of course it is. We That's did why not. The light under, goes we on. did not he's, understand he's, the weight or 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 the danger of the hatch until they had had they had seen inside the hatch. The no, hatch you understand was just what it means to lock, which is right. why it matters. I'm I, 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 it, I'm I'm gonna call time out. I'm gonna say like we we can only crucify one show at a time. If 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 we're defending Westworld, let's defend I Westworld. I don't want to like I'm that's gonna... you know I guess what there's there exists shows that turns out they're even shittier than Westworld or Lost. And so if we're gonna play that game of what's worse, then I've got a. Have you guys seen Battlestar 1980? <laughs> Um, no, no, no. I, mean, I, I don't. I have to is... pee. I'm gonna be right back. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. This uh, is. I don't know. I I'm gonna confer this. with this my co-counselor. Uh, listen, Justin. <clears throat> how, how do you How do you think we're doing? Do you think the? Uh... Is there a reason why I'm I'm all fucking like no 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 no? Yeah, like, I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Uh, maybe refresh your video. Yeah. Here, hold on. Wait a minute. Bleep. Blop. Mm. Beep. 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 I'd be in. Hey, there it goes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I missed a lot. I was talking to my tax guy, um, but I'm really okay. excited. We got uh, we got some long-standing things finally properly filed. Nice. It was one of those moments where it's like uh, uh, I went down and uh, and uh, I told him the funny story of like, well, I'm live on the air, and then we're like, oh, I'm going to talk dry. And then his first thing is like, uh, he's like, oh, well, you know, if, if you want to handle it tomorrow, and I'm like, no. No, he whatever call, it is. He did call you at 11 in the evening. Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm like whatever it is, right now is the time. This is when taxing do. gets done. Yeah, exactly. The midnight hour. Hi, welcome. <laughs> My name is Tax Man Dick. And if you want your taxes done, then you better fucking wait until at least 11 o'clock at night when taxing gets done. Uh... This is my son, Dick Taxman, but he is not a (laughs) tax man. (laughs) This little Dick Taxman. He's not a taxman. He actually writes ad copy. He did the Juicy Juice promotion. (laughs) (laughs) Full circle. (laughs) Anyway, I'm Dick Taxman, the taxman that rocks. So, so, like, uh, we're obviously, I really, number one, I do think you should do a movies with Mikey. To let us see what is beautiful about Westworld, because I don't think you're gonna I, have... I don't know. Hold on, hold on. I, hold on. My, no, no, no. my mind is open. I'm saying like, give it another episode and see where you're at. That's sure. all I'm saying. Well, well and that's. I'll, I'll and watch it. I think it's we're asked at... amazingly interesting questions. Absolutely. Like, what's going on? I, I will never take that away from me. Like, it, like it's 100% what do you do with a human, a non-human entity that has sentience? I, I think there are well, really good questions there. But I do agree. My main complaint with the show is that it is just too slow for as many plot lines are going on. Yeah, I am. I am I fine with I'm the content. What, and, and, and fine here's, with the content. Here's of it, the thing. Just... What do What do you do when you realize there's sentience? Um, that's great. My question is, how do you realize something is sentient when it just wakes up and 
starts talking at you. And it that's its literal job is to wake up. God, if only there was a test to test for sentience. <laughs> Well, well and, and also the first year it passed the Turing test. Yeah, that, the, the hosts are going against their programming and are going against, uh, if if we're considering this a part of this, the fundamental laws of robotics. Well, okay, but, well, but again, as it first has of all, they, they haven't established that in the universe. Okay. They I'm, just, I'm just saying, if that's a part of it, yeah, they sure, are sure, 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 sure. But I, I'll tell you, let me give you the most cynical, because because again, it's a spectrum, and I vacillate back and forth. Okay. When I'm at if, my most... if, if, if it's going to be the most cynical, then you have to give the point while doing the jerk off motion. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, and that that's the rule. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. When when I'm at doing my most cynical you. on the show, just doing it for yeah. you. Uh, thank you. When I'm at the most cynical on the on the show, I think the fuck is this? It's a theme park where the rides are broken. That's what this is. Rich assholes are going to the, a theme park. The theme park hold, makes hold on. no sense. Can, can, can no, I, I'm agreeing with I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, sorry. That like was this is this is literally a story about Disney World having a bad day. Where <laughs> this is literally a story about Disney World having a bad day and a bunch of the rides are broken. That's but all the stakes. That was what the That's movie was all about. the stakes. Well, no, that no, no. That made about. sense. That made sense because the movie because in the movie humans were in peril and I hoped they escaped the malfunctioning. It, it it's the same reason that Jurassic World works or Jurassic Park works is because oh. the park malfunctions. The same fucking movie. Yeah. Wait wait, 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 wait. Do you not understand that we're not there yet? <sighs> Jesus Christ! We're on episode nine out of ten. We have not had a Plus single guest imperiled. Show. This is a five or six season show. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not on that. Up Westworld. Come correct early. Come correct. No, no. Come on. You oh, have yeah. no. no. Oh, Ga Game of Thrones didn't come Hold correct. Hold on. Is your is your argument? Did it out of power in Game of Thrones season one? Is your zero argument people that zero people? Well, well I, I didn't hear you. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait. What did you say about Game of Thrones season one? How many people were unseated from the power in season one of Game of Thrones? Well, Robert, Wait, is that your standard? No, what the my fuck are y'all talking about, Mikey? Come oh, on, unseated that, from that, power? That, Fucking Ned Stark look. was unseated from his head. Spoilers. Paul Drogo's unseated from power. <laughs> Robert's unseated from power. I I I pushed too far without actually recognizing yeah, 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 yeah. fucking this Icarus looking motherfucker flying way too close <laughs> to the sun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How close to the sun was I? Is is Westworld season one over? Go fuck yourself. I How mean, look, close to the sun am all right. I? You know because what? Because when the status quo is reset in episode ten, and you have to grovel at my feet, <laughs> you have to look to me to be like, oh shit, we didn't get it. You have oh to my look god, I know. At your Man. Adults. I'll, I'll tell you what, when everybody yeah. is super shocked that the man in black is the asshole brother and not McPoyle, we're are, all going to be so fucking shocked. Are, are you going to defend that? Gonna be... Are you going to defend that? Are you going to defend that ending to the first season? Guys, isn't it great? Person? No, wait, wait hang on. The brother-in-law? Either of them. The... Whether the man in black is McPoyle or the asshole brother... But he's going to be the asshole brother. He's so going to be the asshole brother. No, he can't. No, I, I disagree with that theory. Okay. I think right. that's going to be the end. The end is that Dolores is going to kill McPoyle and, and, and fucking it's going to be the asshole brother. We're going to be like, oh, my God, he wasn't just a rapist bisexual asshole. Now he's our favorite character. That is a common move. So I can't I can't. You're going to you're going to look at us, you're going to call us up and and we'll say, hey, "What'd you think?" You're going to say, "Such a good show, bro. Super good." The, the reality is that we all like different things for different <laughs> reasons. And Indeed. West Westworld inspires emotionality out of a lot of people for various reasons, and I love it and you don't. I And that's oh, No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Make no mistake, Mikey. The reason why I am adoring this conversation is that it is very, very rare that I get to have uh, a, a good substantive conversation about story with somebody who really gets it. And, and I, that's I, why I, I, I want to point out that someone just pointed out in the comments that that me, uh, Brian and Jerry should do a podcast called Drunken Spoilers. 
Um, and I, I am into that idea. Drunk, <laughs> drunken spoilers. spoilers. Drunken spoilers. Like, it was, it was not spoilers. It was drunken spoilers. Spoilers. It, which is Dude. so perfect. Just continue. We can record it after night attack. Spoiling. Record it after night attack every week. <laughs> Spo- drunken spoilers. I, 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 Westworld is not good enough for me to stake my claim in the ground to defend it to the death. Well, and, and mainly, and I that's a good, defend it to the death. That's a good position to have because good, the, st- I think we don't understand it yet. So I, 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 correct. I would say that you're like, I'm not going to defend an incomplete work of art. And, and if, if seasons exist to be independent segments of an ongoing story, then I, I insist that, and I'm with you on this. I insist yeah. we judge this season after the season is complete because who knows? Maybe it turns out but, that Maeve is the man in black. It's it's also like we move the goal. <laughs> Such a twist. Literally impossible. <laughs> we know. Is it? Yes. Is it? Because what? she transferred minds. If Maeve is the man in black. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Every, everyone is. We're all the man in black because that's not the point. The point is every show changes <laughs> from season to season. Yeah, yeah. but they change dramatically. And lost. But season where four. were you? Was like, informed by the space between Lost w- one and two. Again, Lost changed based on what people thought of it. That is undeniable. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So did Battlestar right. Galactica. And those are flaws. West World is set up an amazing. We're judging first season. Idiotic, here. dumb world that no one would ever. Forty thousand dollars a day. Go fuck yourself. Like that's never occurring. No one can relate to that. I'm gonna make and, a prediction, and that makes Westworld a problem because we can't relate to that. Well, and also, and, and, like, also spending forty thousand dollars a day. What what what, I, what I've always mm-hmm. kind of waited for in Westworld is for someone to get dragged out of the park because their fucking credit card bounced. Like, right, I, I, and what is the one question you never asked yourself about Jurassic Park that they started asking in the sequels? But what is the one question you never asked yourself about the original film? Who can go is to that Jurassic you Park? You weren't building barriers. How much does Chilean sea audience. bass cost? Yeah, the Chilean sea bass. Like, I well, actually uh, judging by sight, based on what I saw in the film, four hundred dollars a plate. A plate. A plate. So per fillet, four hundred. Yeah. Damn, they did spare no expense. That's the point of the film. So I mean, like that's that's where we're at. I mean, except you, for employee if you, vetting. If you want the best Chilean sea bass in the world right now, yeah, you're you're paying two to four hundred dollars a plate. Mikey, we should do a show called What's That Cost? And we just go through movies. <laughs> and, we just, and we just estimate it. Give me that sea bass. I think there's a thousand shows I could do right now. What's um, that cost, though? What's that cost? That sea bass plate. So. A lot. And it's bad. Here's Clearly, the thing. Was, here's the thing. There, there's I a few moments. Was in that. I can tell you the ingredients in that, that soupy shit they put on the sea bass. There's a few moments that a human, people remember forever. You remember where you were when the OJ verdict came down. Sure. You remember where you were. Uh, at no, the... we, 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 we got it. We're good. We're there. We're good. Get ready to okay. remember forever okay. where you were. 9-11. When you found out that the man in black was actually that piano. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, it knows Amy Winehouse and the Rolling Stones. That's what this I'm saying. This piano is lit AF. I mean, you'd be like, wow, anything's possible. Oh, my God. We got to end think, it on that. I like Shut the piano. Down. I Shut don't it know down. what to say. Shut it down. Like Hold on. Phone. Shut now, it down. I, like the piano. I don't blame you for wanting to shut it down. I'm just saying, if you got a few more minutes in you, there's a special moment coming. What? Really? Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up, boy, funny guy? <laughs> there is a, what is this, 120 oh, subscriber this difference. Bad. Please. Fo- I followed it on Chainsaw Suit Original earlier. <laughs> 
I I put All right, my I'm game tweeting on the it line. out right now. <laughs> God. Everybody needs to fucking. <laughs> you guys got to go past this. <laughs> if you enjoy your bullshit. science-based edutainment, I'm just saying science-based edutainment. For it, 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 it kind of hurts our case that we definitely showcase their video. <laughs> I think they got Who? the night attack bump. Oh no, from they definitely showing. did not. <laughs> Boy, funny guys did not get any subscribers because of this podcast. Oh, Wait, fuckers are yeah, unsubscribing. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Why are both of you, eg? PewDiePie. No, oh, that's a, the search. There's a search bar here. Search bar is like, you know, uh, uh, name a oh, YouTube person. Oh, that's just the default. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I typed in butts and hey, the first suggestion was butts I all day. Oh. Wait, where's Chainsaw Suit Original at? How do you see like real time? How do I put this on my uh, wall? Subscribercount.com. Dude. Yeah, there you go. Chainsaw Suit Original. Boom. All right. I'm catching right up. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's not moving. Hold Why on. Why is hey. no one subscribing to this right now? By the please. way, all right, I'm I'm tweeting out right now. Please, RT, out. right now. Follow YouTube.com/slash Modern Rogue. Fuck! I'm dying. I'll die if you don't subscribe. All right, I'm subscribing to Chainsaw Suit Original. We got one. That was it. Here, two. Get ready for two. Three. Boom. It's it's oh four is happening. Four just, is yeah, real. That, that number four was me. That we was are me. less than one hundred. Are, are you aware that I am almost literally exactly half of your subscriber base? I mean, for the is moment. That, is that a funny uh, little thing we're doing? Uh, also, that Brian was so depressed that he was at where he was at. Everybody, everybody is uh, everybody's unsubscribing because they want to do that last minute rush. You assholes. <laughs> Fucking uns. You know oh, what? Oh, you're seeing. I here. I'm gonna unsubscribe from Chainsaw move. Suit. I mean, Boom! No, Look I'm at not. that. Ha <laughs> ha! No, now it's back. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, now it's down. Now it's up. Now it's down. This now it's up. This is the pettiest telethon PBS has ever done. <laughs> the troll If you would like to make Chainsaw Suit feel insecure, unsubscribe. We already did. <laughs> First trollathon. <laughs> so bad. If you <clears throat> want to do it for the lulls, you're showing two today. channels that we have nowhere near the subscriber count of. But we should. Wait, wait, wait. who's this? We. Me it's all yeah. you. It's all you. It's not all me, Chris. Stroud. Hey, Brian. Wait, no, but for real, you never <laughs> answered. Do you think that a day without laughter is a day wasted? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I've made a lot of money without ever laughing. <laughs> I I live a lot of my days without laughing too. I'm not a comedian, so no. Well, hey, by the way, I want to commend you, you Mikey, on boys. not on not resorting to the lofty movies with Mikey voice. That was that you played fair. You played a fair game. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. He didn't I, start I, playing piano music and making me cry because he reveals a deeper fucking truth to humanity. When it, when like it takes like this macro asshole. view of the world and shows how such a trifling thing as a movie can mean so much to us. So here's the thing. God about, damn it! <laughs> about no uh, night attack. Please give me a moment. You know what? Please. Everybody, once subscribed, resubscribe yeah. now. Let's take us out. Take us out. And give me sad piano music. <laughs> no. Yeah. You understand that the And these give me a back rub. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> let's go. Here's the thing about Night Attack. <laughs> Cuz that that's all you have to say to get, do movies in my Here's the thing about Night Attack. <laughs> it's about it's about a few boys that are trying to find their place in the world and maybe they don't know where they are right now, but eventually they'll get there and maybe it's about the journey. And maybe it's not about where we are right now. And maybe that's the only thing that matters. You got you got 40 more subs to cover. Oh, God. Maybe it's about the jummy. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. And, may, and maybe it's about the jummy. I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was a pretty good approximation. Uh, while actually saying things that probably are true. Uh, about... about... <laughs> God damn it. Gambling man the says... The more I do that, people are like, it is fake.
<laughs> I Camp- knew it. He could just do that on command. <laughs> Gambling Man says, dislike, unfavorite, and unsubscribe the modern rogue if you support movies with Mikey. <laughs> That's actually how it works, though. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> people don't tell you. That's why people get unsubscribed. Oh, no. You have a I, limit to who you can follow. I, on rising him. tide lifts I, all boats. What are you doing? Don't do this <laughs> to me. Pour this wine into this mug. I'm going to smoke a lot of pot. And then I'm going to go watch The Modern Rogue. And that is my plan to fucking night. God damn. And that is legit uh, real. Oh, the police are here? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was weird. But yeah. They're, okay, well. You're going to jail now. I'm arrested and I guess I'm going to jail. So. <laughs> salute. Uh, I Movies guess with those, Mikey. Yeah, those arguments meant less. They did mean less. Wait, so. which ones? Wait, what's the countdown? What's the fucking countdown? Uh, I mean, you could you could leave right now. Oh, it is so close. Uh, I mean, you could leave. Moly. You know what? Just I mean, just you know, <laughs> who cares in this wacky world of ours? <laughs> I mean, it's just I mean, it's just it's just forty subscribers. <laughs> it, I I I want to ask if I am the person that can push this over the edge. I think you are. I'll tell you Where, what, if you tweet... I'm doing it right now, chill out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you don't need to do the whole thing. It's like, God damn, next up you're going to be blowing out the mic, screaming about Westworld again. <laughs> Doc Type says, should I also unfollow Boy Funny Guys? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's up to you. No, that's... Okay, that's an act of... That's like... An offensive move, though. Oh, to tell right? people to unfollow? Well, yeah. like... I mean, if you no longer find their entertainment of value... Sure. You're probably just cluttering up and confusing the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> right. Just clarity of purpose Wait, do matters, do you believe people. that there are funny boys, guys, uh, uh, subs in our midst? I, I don't, but uh, whoever it was in the chat room said... Uh, asked All the right. question. Let's see what happens. Max I, Trollbot I've, just subscribed I've tweeted, to Mugline I've with tweeted, Mikey. So go back. To well, here, let's see. Let's see the effects roll in. All right. Probably, my, I have no effect on anyone. So, mm. uh oh, audio Uh-oh. listeners, we're at seventy-two, seven eighty-two oh, no. versus How are you seventy-two, eight one eight. Oh no! What oh, yes. Unsub. Oh, the no. oh, I, 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 people who are. Watching. I'll give oh, you a no. hint. Their names oh, yes. are oh, yes. right oh, below no. your face. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, well, okay. Oh no! Carl says, "Quick, get Anthony to tweet." Oh yes! Oh yay! Oh, I have no pull. Yeah. That is the. By answer. the way, I have no anybody? Uh, I wonder. I wonder if repeatedly well, a pull. following unfollowing confuses the algorithm, and you just never see the show again. What? I wonder. I wonder if it, it, I it I petty. vanish from you. Yeah. No. He's just like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't like it. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Fucking boy, funny guys is goddamn gaming. Oh, of course it is because they're. <laughs> All right, they're they're trying to get it all together in one moment, and I'm gonna we're gonna call this moment because right now it's at seventy two seven ninety. I, I pushed it a little. I just want to say I pushed. <laughs> yes, it a you did. Seventy two eight one eight. We are now twenty <laughs> subs away from being. Brian, what song do you want to play when it hits? Don't stop believing. Uh, just don't stop. I wonder if I can look up if that'll get this taken down. Oh, oh, oh! They they know the heaviest it's the hitters. It's the fucking end of the after show. It's easy to cut out. <laughs> okay, Mike, Mikey Newman. Twenty. Mikey Newman. Twenty. Bring away. it in those numbers. I'm That's just right. saying. Kurt Angle. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm bri- Well, okay, hang on. Don't. Uh, you know what? I take it back. back. Fraggle Rock. That, just dude, take us out to Fraggle Rock if this I'm happens. Gonna, I'm pushing this over. I am the catalyst. Dude, you, you did, did it. Despite our own fans trying to fuck us up by unsubbing the Despite modern rogue. Our own fans being horrible and mine being great. Because mine are the ones that subscribe and just go you know elsewhere. What? I'm going to say play it. I, I'm going to call it. Now's the moment. Three, no, two, one. No. Now's no, the moment. No. 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 Still... no. Five away. Five away. Five, five minutes? Here. 20. We no, are five way... subs away. How is that even? That math doesn't even work. Oh, dude, because we got we got 15. five over subs on Funny Guys, and we got ten under subs on Monorogue. Everybody's waiting. They want this moment. All right, I say, dude, fucking, you you gonna shove it right in boy Funny Guys? Fucking, <laughs> I'm sure they're fine people who make dude, a good living ripping off fucking, other people's dude, videos. They're real pieces of shit. Once you fucking fuck them right in their butt. 
Whoa. I, right. I like Captain Dude, Tuber. We are now 12 votes away. Fraggle I'm fuck. calling it. They're not now votes. Is, that's not how this down. works. There's subscriptions. There's a hard number. It's getting close. Now, see, look, they're doing it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. What's going down? What is being called? There's down. a number it's got to hit. And it no, you got to play the song because it's going to happen during the song. There's seven. This song is one minute long. I know. It'll happen in this minute. It'll happen in oh, this minute. Sure. I'm calling Okay, it. we're going to we'll, we'll roll those dice. Eight, nineteen. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Prove me right. Prove me right. One minute. Oh, God damn Seven it. votes. Eight so votes. You're, you're proving me right because I caused this. Here we go. Oh, come on. I believe in America. Everybody unsubscribe yes, right now. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Three votes. Three votes. Two votes. Two votes. Two votes. Ah, oh, oh, no. oh, shit. Two votes. One vote. One sub. One sub. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. There oh, it is! Oh, oh, there it is! Oh, 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 there it is. is! What happened to it's the song? Done. I don't know. Turn it up. I, 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 I'm not doing anything. There it is. There it is. I, I, Crank that I, shit on up. I, Bet you cares away. Worries for another day. Down to Frag Rock. Love you!